Hi, what's up guys? It's Zed and this is episode 15 of the FIFA 22 player career mode with Conrad Zan. Sorry, last episode we were able to get a win in all the matches except the last match against Liverpool where um, Lucas Digne just fucked up and we were able to get that draw and once again the referees don't leave the ball for the last attack, they just like blow it whenever the time is up and that is actually quite dumb. I mean, they do sometimes, but it's hard to explain. Anyway, in this episode, we're supposed to be going up against Freiburg in the first match, then Borussia, Wojciech Gladbach, then we have the Champions League match against AS Monaco, then Wolfsburg, and I think we should end this match with the match, in, sorry, end this episode with the match against Köln. So first of all, it's the match against SC Freiburg, and let's see what we'll be able to do in this match the man of the moment he's been in terrific form as evidenced by four goals in three games stay with us hello everyone and welcome what we can't complain about today is the weather absolutely perfect playing conditions I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. Alright, so our match objectives are to get a match rating of 8.5, a team position of 55. That really shouldn't be a problem in this match. I mean, it shouldn't really be a problem, but if it is, I mean, whatever. And then we're supposed to win the match, basically, or draw it. But we're going to win it, hopefully, and this is what we're going to be enhancing. And the contest begins. Oh, the, the goalkeeper did all he could, but no one was going to stop that one. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed. And the strike could not get any better. Good movement. Sergio Roberto, this could square the game, but the keeper has his say, and how? Well, the stats show us that the hosts haven't had that much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect... Well, he had a lot of ground to cover, splendid save. Taken short. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee and maybe they'll be able to level this up well he's avoided a booking but the complaints continue and I can understand why I think it's a poor foul it should be a yellow card for me chance to equalize here and he slots it home with confidence That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Spot on with that tackle. Now can they counter clinically? Shot attempted. Well, diving magnificently to make yeah. sure he got... Brandt. Chance to take the lead. It could be up for grabs. Brandt, Digne, still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Well, credit to him for trying it, didn't miss by much. And then a composed finish as he rounded the goalkeeper. It's now 2-1 with 74 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Must take the lead here, and they have, you've got to say, it has been coming. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders, and the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Ten minutes to go. Body in the way. Danilo. Harrison Reed, 
Happy to take on the shot. And a goal! There he is! And the double! They just can't subdue him! Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. Well, this game almost in the books and a story of Dortmund excelling, Stuart. Well, they've controlled most of the game, haven't they? Their one and two touch passing has been sharp. The movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals. They just need to keep their confidence. Oh, they might score here, Stuart. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Right to win the ball back high up the pitch. And that will do it. The referee blows his whistle. All right, so we have got a late hat trick in this game. I think this is our third hat trick or second in this series. And that, that is really good to see. And even though we went 1-0 down at the beginning of the match, we were able to get one assist and two goals to clinch the victory in this match, away from home as well. And we do get the Man of the Match award. We also get the match ball because of the hat-trick, and I'm really happy. Right, so I remember that we can actually sim matches, and the last time I simmed a match, we got a hat-trick in the match, but I doubt that's going to happen in this one. We didn't even score. Emery Chan was the one that got the hat trick, so we got subbed out in the 60 something minutes by Tigress or whatever that guy's name was, and we weren't able to get the match, the manager's um, objective. But I really don't care, I want to play this match in the UCL, and I mean, I can always train to get back up into the manager's good graces, and I really like, I mean, if swimming matches will make me not score. In all the matches that I play in, then I really don't mind because I pretty much score in the matches that I actually play. So we're still 18, we'll be becoming, we'll be turning um, 19 in a few months. I think October 5th was what I checked, was what I saw the last time. Oh, sorry, it is October 25th of 2004. So, I mean, he's going to be turning a 19 soon. But once again, with all that dreaming being done, we're going to be Coming back into reality to this match against Monaco in the Champions League, we lost our first match against what's their fate, Liverpool, and let's see if we're going to be able to destroy them in this match. We simply have to focus on this man. Amid rumours that he's leaving the club, he starts today live on EA TV. I guess what was that about being linked to Sevilla? I think Sevilla wants to buy me, but I mean, I'm obviously not going to be going to Spain because I mean, it hasn't even been a whole season in Dortmund and they already want to buy me. Like, why? I mean, I know I'm that good, but the Borussia Dortmund guys just blocked my transfer offers, to be honest, because I'm going to be snobbing all of them. I'm supposed to get a match rating of 8.5, 5 shots on target, and at least a team possession of 55%. This last one, I'm completely like, throwing it away and I'm just going to enhance this one at the end or let me just enhance this last one because I really don't care about it I mean I know that doesn't make sense but I mean that's just what I'm going to do commences. here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund Toby Alderweireld plays with Mats Hummels in central defence and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset And there to intervene. It's a good Dortmund move in the making. Well, far too much elevation there. Tremendous intuition to win it back. And he takes it on. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that. An awful lot of green space to run into. And the cross goes in. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0 here. 
Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice headed goal. This might be ideal for the counter. Good vision. Can he get onto this? And he might be in here. Defending by example. Chance to finish. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here's the replay. What a superb volley this is. He strikes it so cleanly. Opportunity in the wide area. Oh, surely. And a goal! They're running riot here, almost out of sight. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Oh, showing excellent vision. Is it going to be? Back to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one. A strong play here. Real chance. Well, if only he had timed his run slightly better. Offside. Haidara. Zan. And he's beaten him here. Teammate available. Haidara. And he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And there goes the final whistle. <sighs> okay, so that was the worst match we played so far. They were just all over the place. They were fucking up left, right, and center. And it was just. A really really annoying match to play we we're able to get our goal and that was pretty much it but i mean matches like these happen and well nothing we can really do about it and yeah we didn't get any of the match ratings and to show you that i actually did really well in this match for the team i actually did win the man of the match but we lost it we lost the freaking game and i'm hiding it from my teammates because well why would you want to win the man of the match when your team lost but I mean, it's a sad day for us. But I mean, we we lost both of our um, games in the Champions League, and I mean, if we lose the last one, then our hopes of even getting into the round of sixteen are actually really, really slim. All right. So the um, international matches, the friendlies, have actually come in between us and the match against Korn. So we're going to play this match against Wolfsburg, and then we're going to sim. The one against Cone and we will be done for this episode. Or I should just probably just play this one and this will be the last one for the episode and then we'll play the rest of this month for the next episode. Alright, we scored 10 goals in the amount of matches that we played, I can't remember. And we've at the competition record for the Bundesliga is 41. I think that has to be Lewandowski. I am not sure to be honest. I, ha I have no idea the stats for the Bundesliga. But let's try and see if we're going to be able to beat that by the end of the season i mean we have literally scored in every single match that we played except from that one that we simmed so i'm not really counting those because i mean i mean they're official matches but i didn't play them uh so i have to get an 8.5 match rating take four shots on target and i'm going to be enhancing this one do not lose or sorry do not lose the match just win or draw it i'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today This is the lineup for Dortmund. Toby Alderweireld plays with Mats Hummels in central defence. And so many different ways to configure. Takes aim! Superb stop! Like that. And the pass could do damage. Can he put it away? Oh, a finish of real class! No wonder he's celebrating! Take Match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, he's certainly on fire at the moment. He looks fit, he looks sharp, and he's full of confidence. He's... And he did so well to move across and deal with it. Alderweireld. Here is Digne. 
patient enough build up can they carve out a chance and just like that it's gone in Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level just look at this again the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and then what a strike that's hit with such ferocity certainly no stopping Schlager Now they've given him too much space. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a chain. It's a good-looking ball in behind. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Oh, that's an interesting pass. A terrific pass. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Now, let's see what Dortmund have been rehearsed. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, here's a match coming up on EA TV that I think you're going to want to join us for. That looks a really entered. It has to be. He's gone and found the net. Brilliant piece of finishing. Magnificent goal. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. It's another goal for Leipzig. They're ahead by two now with 76 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. This could be the equaliser. Still could be dangerous. And relief. Strength to hang on to it. Crossing into the middle, not messing around with that clearance. And threading it forward, he's in behind the defence here. And a goal to level it up late on here, just look at the reaction. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. And the referee blows his whistle, and the two teams quite simply couldn't be separated. A draw it is, from the Borussia Dortmund point of view. What did you think of it? Yes, Derek, they certainly... Right, it's like they did not want to win in this match, because I have no idea what the freaking defense was doing <sighs> okay okay i just have to calm down so this is the end of the episode we were able to save the team again and well i think we got at least two out of the three managers objectives if i'm not wrong yeah we did and this is the end of the episode we do get the man of the match again and we <laughs> and we are hiding it again because the team Really doesn't want me to be celebrating while I uh, while we are while we drew the match. But anyway, this is the end of the episode. If you guys did enjoy it, we got off to a good start. Okay, we got off to a bad start with the loss against AS Monaco, and we also ended with a bad match against um, Wolfsburg. It just kept on um, going in front of us, and I just had to keep on equalizing. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.